hello? This thing turn on? It turn on? Yeah, it's a close up. I'm all up in your grill. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Greetings one and all, this is Lloyd Brown and welcome social media family to my vlog on a bank holiday weekend. Ah, oh, when people are jing bang, jing bang, jing 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 bang and they're nothing in the carnival, I'm here trying to knock out some tunes. Well, I made a promise that I was going to knock out my vocals for um, the Brown and Bubblers project which I actually suspended but I've now put it back on, excuse me, one second. hydrated but yeah so I'm here in the lab basically just locking down my vocals and just for a treat I thought I'd give you an insight as to how I stack my harmonies um, I think I actually gave you an insight as to how I do my harmonies but as I stack up my harmonies my harmonies have to have a particular texture to them and that's really important with harmonies because although a lot of people might have the ability to harmonize there's the added feature of textures that makes the harmonies be different from one another as opposed to just stacks of stacks of harmonies sounding the same do you know what i mean even though they're in the same register you can make them sound different with textures and I'm looking in the lenses like my feel like, I feel like my eyes are getting crossed. <laughs> so anyway, I just want to give you a quick thing. Now this track, I know you heard before, um, and it's called Hold On Tight. Now I have to give a shout out to True Identity because they recorded a track called Hold On. Um, and I didn't know they called their tune Hold On, which was actually produced by Bubblers as well. So I don't want people to think, say, yeah, yeah, I just, I just latched onto the title. I just had a title called Hold On Tight. Um, I might have to call it something different, you know, for royalty purposes, for publishing purposes, so it don't get confused, you know what I mean? So, back to the harmonies. So, what is, the, the angle really close, see, what are they, what are they? Like I just, but I'll just put the thing back right there. Okay, that's better. That's better. Feels a bit less invasive, you know what I mean? Instead of me being all up in your grill, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> anyway, just want to give you a quick insight as to how I do my harmonies, how I stack up my harmonies, and how I put textures to harmonies, all right? So as you can see, well, if you've got good eyesight, there is one, two three four five sets of harmonies so i've made them different by using different textures to them and um like i said it's important for the reasons that i specify because you don't want like stacks and stacks and stacks of harmonies up sounding the same as one another because you're just going to get a wall of harmonies a wall of voices that just sounds the same and you just can't differentiate it. And as good as they sound, they're gonna turn into noise sooner or later. And that's no disrespect to the vocalist, no disrespect to any vocalist. But here we go. So I'm going to play um, one harmony that I've got. And this harmony is basically called the intro ooze. And it goes a little something, a little something like this. Ooh. That's it, pretty basic, right? And because it's got a warm sound to it, I don't really need to do anything to those sets of harmonies. Oh, by the way, before we go any further, um, I use a technique called bouncing, where you actually, you do the harmony line one by one by one, and then once you get the harmonies where you want them, the level you want them, the EQ you want them, you record them all as one track on another track, basically. And that's how you get the bounced um, effect on your vocals. I mean, vocalists know this anyway. Producers know this anyway. But it's for people who don't really know why I'm going to the studio. So I've already bounced all my harmonies. So I've done 
three tracks, six tracks, nine tracks, 12 tracks, 15 tracks of harmonies that I've bounced on to their respective tracks. So 15 tracks divided by five single tracks is three, three part harmony. Anyway, I'm not here to teach you maths. Anyway, so with the bounced harmonies with the oohs, this oo, for the track, it has a warm sound. So I don't really need to put much effect on there. The texture of warmth is already there. The only thing I need to do is just put a little reverb on it. Put a little reverb on it and it sounds like this. Very subtle. It is very, very, very subtle. But it's there, okay? Now, the next harmony is basically uh, it's basically ours, okay? So here's the harmonies that I've bounced, which sounds a little something like this. Ow. Listen to it again. Ow. Okay, now to me, they sound a little bit too heavy on the bottom end. So what I've done, I've EQ'd them and put a little reverb on it. And they sound something like this. Ow. See, so there's less of the bottom on it now. So there's a bit more mid and tops on it. So that's what I'm talking about, texture, okay? Right. So if you listen to the oohs and then ows after that, you'll get a differentiation between the two. Ooh. Warm. Now we have the ows. Ow. Yeah? So it's got that kind of radio friendly kind of tone to it. So no matter where you play the track, if you play it through your, your headphones, you play it through your phone, you hear it on a stereo, you hear it on a sound system, you hear it on your computer, it has that radio friendly sound with that particular texture, okay? Right, so moving on from there, we're gonna go into the R's, R. Say ah, everybody say ah. <laughs> right, so um, so this is basically the dry bounced ahs that I've got. And it goes something like this. So play it again. Now to me, with, with the progression of the harmony, it sounds choral, it sounds operafied, churchified, for want of a better description, but the texture doesn't match it. So what I have done, I have EQ'd it, I've EQ'd it, put some reverb on it, and put some delay on it. So it now sounds like this. Just with a nice little delay tail out. Very subtle, but very effective, okay? So. So let's recap. So we got the R's and the O's and the intro O's. And it goes into something like this. Ow. Ooh. Nice and warm. Radio vibes. Ow. Ooh. 
church vibes. Uh, uh, ow. Okay, so, so as you can hear, the textures are differentiating the harmonies that I've got. Right, so what's the next one? Uh, okay, let's go into this one here. This one is part of the chorus. Which doesn't really have much. Um, doesn't really have much effects or even EQ on it. But this is the dry version of the harmony. No, 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 I... No, 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 I... Okay. Sounds a bit warm, sounds a bit woolly, so I need to kind of give it a little bit more presence. So I'll put some EQ on it. That's it, nothing more. It's dry, but a little bit more presence. And it sounds like this. No, 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 I... Hear the difference? No, 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 I... Okay. So a good tip for you, if you're doing unison harmonies, right? Um, if you're doing unison harmonies where you're going, um, say for example, you're doing two high and one low. So you're going, no, 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 I, no, 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 I, no, 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 I. You always split the two, the two same pitch harmonies, pan them left, and right and you pan the low one in the middle i mean it's not a one size fits all but that's how i like to hear my unison harmonies i like to hear the, the spread the total spread of them and that's how i basically mix them so to recap here we go the no i no i harmony no 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 i No, 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 I... See, all different textures right there. So, we got that. Now, the last one is the actual chorus vocals. It's the chorus harmonies. Okay? Now, when I first done this demo and presented it to you guys before, I actually sang this line as a lead. But I decided to sing it as a harmony line and then answer the harmony line with my lead. It just sounded better that way. Gives it a nice to and fro kind of vibe. Right, so for this, I'm gonna play you the dry, bounced, mixed, mixed. The dry, bounced mix of the harmony. This is the main harmony. Never gonna let you go. Never gonna let you go. And that's basically that. Um, going around four times. But now let me put the EQ on it because I want the harmony, the chorus harmony, to sound very, um, very flavoursome. <laughs> I'm running out of adjectives here. Um, but I want it to sound flavorsome. I want, I want it to give it a flavor, all right? So this is how it sounds now, with reverb and delay and EQ on the harmony. Never gonna let you go. Never gonna let you go. See, so already, it's already established that we're giving different textures to each harmony. So when each harmony comes up, it's like your brain naturally inclines to it and it inclines itself to the other harmony you're hearing because you wanna, you wanna overstand what I'm saying, what I'm singing, okay? So your brain is naturally gonna go from one harmony to the other. And it's going to make the distinction because of the textures that you've given each harmony line. Okay, so now we've done that, what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually just play a small section 
without the lead vocal, I'm going to put all of the harmonies, all of the harmonies down with the rhythm track. And it should go a little something, something, something like this. Burgutin Ka! I knew it would stop. I knew it would stop. Damn it. Here it goes. And there you have it. I'm not even going to edit that mistake right there, that drop, but you get the gist of what I'm driving at, okay? So that is an insight as to how I construct my harmonies, how I texturize my harmonies, how I stack my harmonies, okay? Um, this is not going to be basically the actual mix of the harmonies. I'm just basically using that as a reference. So when I send it to Bubblers, right, he knows exactly the type of sound that I would like for the harmonies. And he can basically get a gist of the sound parameters within the harmonies. Because what I'm going to send him, I'm gonna send him the harmony lines flat, as in the before sound that they had, that I played for you. So that basically is the way I throw my harmonies down, son. <laughs> so it's with that, I'm going to bid you guys adieu. Thanks for watching. Thanks for stopping by. And as always, you done know the coup. People, please abstain from foolishness. Your own, other people's, even my own. Abstain from all of the above. And until I catch you in the next one, people, please stay blessed. Have a happy bank holiday. Magan.